Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on fractions, decimals, and percentages. In this video, we're gonna look at some of the key equivalent fractions, decimals, and percentages. So here we've got a circle, and half of it is shaded in blue. So that represents the fraction one half, because there's two uh, sections, and one of them is shaded in blue. As a decimal number, that's 0 0.5, because one divided by two is 0 0.5. And as a percentage, you might know that a half is 50%. Okay, next. So we've done one half, now let's have a look at two halves. So as you can see, this diagram represents two halves because both of the halves are shaded in. So as a fraction, that would be two over two. As a decimal number, that obviously that's a whole because all of it is shaded in, so that's one. And as a percentage, that's 100%. Anytime a fraction has got the same number on the top as the bottom, that is one whole because obviously three thirds or four quarters or five fifths would all be a whole. Okay, next. So now we're gonna move on to quarters. So first of all, one quarter. This diagram represents one quarter because one of the four sections is shaded in. So that's one over four. As a decimal number, that is 0 0.25. And as a percentage, that is 25%. Okay, so that's one quarter. Again, that's a very important one to learn. Our next one, our next one is two quarters. Now two quarters, as you can see, we've shaded in two of the four sections. That's the same as a half. So as a decimal number, it's 0 0.5, and as a percentage, it's 50%. Uh, two quarters is the same as a half, because obviously it's an equivalent fraction, it could be canceled down. So that means that two quarters, you probably wouldn't see that as often, because it'd probably be just written as one half, which is 0 0.5 and 50%. Okay, next. Another very important one is this one, which is three quarters. This diagram represents three quarters because three of the four sections are shaded in. And three quarters is 0 0.75 and as a percentage, 75%. Because obviously if half of it is 50% and the other one is 25%, altogether that would be 75%. Okay, so these two, the one quarter and the three quarters, these are very important facts to learn, like the half as well. The half is extremely important. Okay, next, let's have a look at fifths. So here we've got a circle, we've got five sections and one of them is shaded in, so that represents one fifth. As a decimal number, one divided by five is 0 0.2, and as a percentage, obviously 100% divided by five is 20%. So each of these sections is 20%, so one of them would be 20%. Okay, so that's one fifth. Again, that's another important one that's important to learn. Uh, next one, two fifths. Well, if each section is worth 20%, two of them would be 40%. So this is two fifths, and that's the same as 40% as a percentage and as a decimal number, that would be, if each one of them is 0 0.2, that would be 0 0.4. So each section is 0 0.2, so two of them is 0 0.4. Again, that's another important one. I would learn all the fifths, they're quite important. Our next one, three fifths. Well, that's gonna be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0 0.6. So as a decimal number, 0 0.6. And as a percentage, that would be 60%. And our last fifth, though, is very important because obviously five fifths is a whole. Four fifths would be 0 0.8 because 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and that would be 80%. So each fifth is 20%. So if you remember that, you should be able to remember all the fifths. Okay, so we've gone through halves, we've gone through quarters, we've gone through fifths. Now we're gonna go on to tenths. Now here we've got one tenth, and we've got 10 sections, and one of them is shaded in, so that represents one tenth. One divided by 10 is 0 0.1, and as a percentage, well, 100% divided by 10 is 10%. So each of these sections is going to be 10% or 0 0.1, so we can use that to work out all of them. So our next one. Our next one is two tenths. Now, two tenths of each section is 10%, 10%, 20%. Now, we've already had that already because two tenths, if we divide both of those by two, would be one fifth. So two tenths is just one fifth. So we've seen this one already, okay? So one fifth is 0.2 and 20%, and that's the same as two tenths. Okay, next, three tenths. Well, that would be another 10%, so 10, 20, 30%. So as a percentage, 30%. And as a decimal number, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So three tenths is 0 0.3 and 30%. Four tenths, well that would be 0 0.4 and 40%. But that does cancel down. We have had this one already. That would be two fifths. Okay, so two fifths is also 0 0.4 and 40%. Our next one, five tenths, as you can see already, that's the same as one half, which is 0 0.5 and 50%. And six tenths, if we have a look at it, is also 0.6 and 60%. That's the same as three fifths. 
Our next tenth is seven tenths. Well, seven tenths would be 0.7 and 70%. Our next one would be eight tenths, which is going to be 0.8 and 80%, and nine tenths, which is 0.9 and 90%. So they're the temps. The temps are quite nice actually because the number on the top of the fraction will just become the percentage. You know, you just turn like, you just times it by 10. So like seven over 10 is the same as 70%. Eight over 10 is 80%. Nine over 10, 90%. And as a decimal number, it'll just be no point on whatever whole number is above the 10. Okay, and finally, we've looked at halves, we've looked at quarters, we've looked at fifths, and we've looked at tenths. We're now going to look at thirds. Now, thirds are quite an interesting one because we can see this uh, diagram. It represents one third. One of the three sections is shaded in, so it's one third. Now, if you do one divided by three, and if you use the bus shelter method, you're going to get 0 0.33333333, and it goes on forever. It's called a recurring R E C U R R I S. NG, a recurring decimal, and it goes on forever, 0 0.3333333. Now, I wouldn't write the whole thing down because it would take me forever, um, but I would just write 0 0.333 and three dots just to show that it carries on. There is another way to do that. It is to write 0 0.3 and a little dot above it. That's the recurring symbol. And if you put it above the number that repeats forever, it just means the person looking at it will know this means 0 0.3. Free, 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 and so on. It's very important that you do spot it though, okay? Because it's not the same as 0 0.3. It's 0 0.3, free, 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 and so on. Now the decimal number goes on forever, so that means the percentage will also go on forever. It would be 33.33333 and so on percent. Or you could write 33.3 with the dot above the the decimal number, the 0.3 percent or it could be written as 33 and a third so this one third is a bit more complicated than the other fractions and uh, other fractions decimals and percentages and um, but it's actually i find it quite interesting that it goes on forever and if one third is 0 0.33333 two thirds would be double that so that's going to be 0 0.6666666 so on forever which is 0 0.6 with a dot above it and as a percentage it would be 66.6 .6 recurring um, and that you could also write that at 66 and two thirds percent. And that's it.